Hi loves, it's Dina. Welcome to my channel. This mama loves Disney. So I am here with Tis the Season to be Crafty video. Yay! Okay, so um, I was tagged by the beautiful Carrie Martin. Hey Carrie! Um, to answer 10 questions for the crafty season. Okay, so um, my first question is what color or color palette are you using for the holiday season? Or, or no, I'm sorry, not you, are using to decorate for the holiday season, I'm sorry. Um, my holiday season is always Disney. <laughs> I have so much money invested in Disney decorations that there is no way in the world I would ever change my decorations. Um, um, I have my Christmas tree is all Disney. I'm at the point where I have way too many ornaments that I don't even put all my ornaments on the Christmas tree. They're everywhere else too. And, and, um, Josephine, Hey, Josephine always tells me I need a second tree. <laughs> so maybe one day, I don't know. We'll see. I just, I haven't gotten to that point yet. But um, yeah, I decorate with Disney. It's everywhere. Some of you who are super close to me know and seen pictures. <laughs> so yeah, I'm a big Disney fan. Um, what drink, okay, number two, what drink makes you feel immediately like the holiday season? Okay, so I actually have two. Um, I would say first of all would be eggnog. Um, I'm like Misty. Hey, the Southern Comfort Eggnog, oh my gosh, is delicious. Absolutely delicious. And um, sometimes I eat it, I mean, excuse me, sometimes I drink it just, you know, like that, plain. Or um, sometimes I'll add some milk to it. Sometimes I add, um, we kind of spike it up a little bit. Um, but yeah, so that is actually my favorite is eggnog. And then another favorite that I we can't get through the holidays without is usually apple cider. And I usually get a big, huge crock pot. And then I have this little thing, this little doohickey right here. I have no idea what this is called. Um, it opens up like so, and you put your moline spices in there. And this is my favorite moline spice, um, flavors or mixture. I should say it's from William Sonoma. It says moline spices. And inside this little container here, if I can get it open, there are a bunch of different little um, spices inside here. We have, um, oh my gosh, uh, I think there's nutmeg, cinnamon. Let me read this off. Maybe it will say in here what's in here exactly. Um, you have cinnamon chips, you have orange rind, you have whole whole spice, you have whole cloves cinnamon oil and orange oil and oh my gosh you guys this smells so so good oh my gosh i love 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 this so a lot of the times like when we're in the backyard and we're sitting around the fire you know we'll we'll do some mulling spices and then if it's really super cold we'll kind of spike it with some fireball but um yeah and my favorite kind of um my favorite cider would be the apple crisp Sp cider that we usually mix um, with the mulling spices so yeah that's those are my two favorite and I we don't usually go through the holidays without either one um my favorite holiday craft and why mm, my favorite holiday craft um gosh I don't really have a favorite holiday craft um I usually alter a lot of different things throughout the holidays um, I've done so many different things. I've done wreaths. I've, um, done Christmas trees. The, what is it? Like the ceramic Christmas trees. They have the little lights inside of them. I've painted so many different items for Christmas that are the bisque. Um, I've made the big, huge wood cutouts that go in your front yard. Um, gosh, I've done so much. The only thing I haven't did for Christmas is paper crafts. Um, this is actually going to be my very first year to actually do paper crafts. Um, yeah, I've, I've never, I never paper crafted before for the holidays. 
So this is going to be all new to me. I've made ornaments. Um, I've painted ornaments. My very first Christmas tree couldn't afford ornaments. So I just made a bunch of like paper clip uh, reindeer and some other little odds and end uh, kind of ornaments. And then I believe the next year after that, I made some ornaments, the kind that you mix up the dough and then you roll it out and then you cut them and then you paint them. So yeah, that was... Um, those were the ornaments that I made before in the past. So I don't really have, I don't really have something that I stick to, um, that I make all the time. Um, I make a lot of wreaths. Um, wreaths have always been one of my favorite things to make for the holidays. Um, but yeah, so I make a lot of different things. I don't have one favorite. Um, I have, it says, what's your favorite holiday, um, memory? My favorite holiday memory is, well, when my father came back from Vietnam, he started working for PG&E, which is Pacific Gas and Electricity in California. And he started out at the power plant and he went from the power plant, you know, it's like once he started taking like night classes, some college night classes, he went from the power plant to working in San Francisco where they buy and sell electricity and so um as we got older because he started when we were babies and as we got older um and he moved to san francisco they would send gifts um for christmas to all the kids and so our biggest memory was on Christmas Eve, we were allowed to open one present and it was always a present that came from pg e <laughs> which was really super exciting for all of us. And um, there's another, another um, uh, memory I want to share too that has to do with, well, there's a couple Christmas Eve memories. So... On Christmas Eve, before we got to open our present, we would always go to my Nana's house. My Nana is um, grandmother, which is Italian. And uh, it's Italian for Nana. So we would go to my Nana and Nanu's and have Christmas Eve. And all the family would all gather. And we used to have this one meal that was called Gipino. And Gipino was a combination. It was like a, it's like a sauce, a red sauce. And it's kind of, people would um, compare it to like gumbo. Uh, which is Cajun, um, which is like a seafood um, with a brown sauce. And the Gipino is more like a red sauce. So it's kind of like not a spaghetti sauce, but it's kind of like a red sauce. And so it was always full of clams, shrimp, um, crab. And my nanu used to always catch sturgeon. So it always had sturgeon in it too. So when the whole family would get together, there was um, seven kids. So all seven kids would, most of the time, seven, all seven kids would be there because my aunt would come from Oregon with her family. And we would have um, Gipino. Not always could my aunt come, but a lot of the times they would come. And so we all got together and had Gipino at my Nana's. And we always had French bread, fresh French bread, which was called Cardinale French bread. And um, I used to actually work there, believe it or not. And they bake the French bread in these big brick ovens, which, oh my gosh, it smelled so good first thing in the morning when it came out of the ovens. Oh my God, it was so delicious because you had this crunchy outer layer and then you had this soft, bread on the inside oh my gosh it was so so delicious so we used to always dip all of our um french bread inside the sauce which you know was like i said a fish kind of sauce i guess you would call it uh it was a spaghetti sauce uh, not a spaghetti it was a tomato sauce with fish flavor but it was just delicious so then after that we would go home we would get it we would get a chance or not a chance but we would get the opportunity to open our one present that was from pg and &E, my dad's company. And then after that, so this is a story I've, I don't share with a lot of people, but um, my aunt, my aunt Georgia, her name was um, Georgia Lucido. Um, she actually knew Frosty the Snowman, believe it or not. <laughs> so she knew how magical Frosty the Snowman was. 
So ever since I was a baby and my cousins were babies, my aunt had, like I said, she knew Frosty the Snowman. So she had had this deal where Frosty the Snowman knew exactly where we lived. And so every Christmas Eve, the doorbell would ring and Frosty the Snowman, when we were little, used to always bring us with his magic. Um, he's very, very magical. And because um, everybody knows Frosty has a magic hat. And so he would touch his magic hat and he would just show up on your doorstep and leave little pieces of ice behind because you always knew he was there because you saw the little pieces of ice behind and he would leave your he would leave frosty pajamas and so every christmas eve frosty would come and leave us leave us pajamas and in the very beginning when we were little frosty used to leave us santa mouse pajamas um every time he came which was really super awesome so i don't know how many years we had santa mouse pajamas and as we got older Frosty would leave us all kinds of, you know, different pajamas throughout the years. And then what's really awesome is that I've gotten to know Frosty and I've know the magic of Santa. I mean, it's not Santa. I know the magic of Frosty in his hat that Frosty has always came to my children um, and brought pajamas on Christmas Eve to all my children. And then Frosty's also now comes to all my grandkids and brings pajamas every Christmas Eve he shows up and uh, rings the doorbell and leaves uh, packages with pajamas for my uh, children and grandchildren um, every single year so yeah so that is my Christmas memory um on what okay oh sorry okay I don't I kind of lost my space okay so um what holiday craft do you love would you love to receive gosh i don't know um mm, gosh that's a hard one i don't know um i don't know i i would say i've i've never received um an embellishment box um i've never received um a tn but I figured out how to make them all on my own, which was kind of exciting because I was hoping one day that I would get one to figure out how to make it. But I kind of made one on my own. I'm, I'm not sure if I did the right thing, but <laughs> you let me know, Misty. <laughs> I don't know. Um, yeah, I guess it would be an embellishment box. Um, what is one crafty supply that you would want to receive this holiday season? Oh, my gosh. Okay, so... One thing I'm having the hardest time with is glue. I, I just, I'm having the hardest time with glue. Um, I know Alicia, hey Alicia, she talks about Tombow all the time and we have a craft store that just recently opened and I picked up this Tombow glue there. Um, th the only thing I don't like about it, it's, it's super, super sticky. I mean, really super sticky. So if you were to glue something and you got a little bit of glue on the side, say for instance, if you were gluing this right here, this little um, ribbon on here, and you got a little bit of glue on the side, if you were to touch it, it'd be really sticky. And I don't like that feeling. Um, I have the, um, I got this from uh, May May Made It, but I've had this for a while. I just keep refilling it. And this is the Art Glitter Glue. And I've tried using this on shakers and it just does not work well for me. Um, I've had my shakers come apart after using this. Um, I've used hot glue. And I was recently just told to use Gorilla Glue. Thank you again, Misty. Um, and, but Misty's mentioned to me that a one good glue would be Nuvo glue and I still have yet to buy it. Um, she's mentioned it to me and I have ordered from scrapbook.com once since then but I completely forgot to put you know to order it. Um, and then also recently I saw Tony, hey Tony, uh, craft purge using the reptile glue and I, I still have yet to ask her also, you know, ask her if she likes it or not. So I think I'll probably be doing that today. Um, asking her how she likes the reptile glue. 
So I would say either, gosh, Nuvo to try that out or Gorilla Glue. I mean, not Gorilla Glue. Um, well, I'm thinking about um, trying the glu glu bleh, Gorilla Glue Sticks, I guess it would be. Not Gorilla Glue, but the Gorilla Glue Sticks. Um, and then also um, the Reptile Glue. So just, a, just an adhesive, I guess, a, gl a glue adhesive. A liquid adhesive. Um, let's see. What's the one treat um, you eat during the holiday season? Ever since we were little, um, my mom would always, my mom was the baker in the family. My mom always bakes. I don't bake. I don't really, I mean, I will bake, but I'm not good at it. Um, my daughter is really good at baking, my daughter Jerrica. Um, but no, I'm not, I'm not really a good baker. But I do make snowballs. When Santa comes to our house, we always make snowballs. And because um, that was one thing that Santa always had at our house was snowballs. And so I will make snowballs every year for Santa. And, it, and it's only at Christmas time that uh, we have snowballs. So, yeah, that's one cookie that we do make all the time that I will make all the time. Um and like I said, my mom used to cook all and bake all the time. My mom used to make these um, one cookie or candy, sorry, and it was kind of like a Reese cup. And it was so funny because my cousins started calling them bear balls because we used to call my mom mom bears. And I have three cousins, um, Kenny, Kevin, and Craig, and they loved my mom's um, the little chocolate balls with the peanut butter uh, crunch in the middle of them. And because we used to call her mom bears, they would just call them bear balls. <laughs> so it's so cute. So to this day, um, my brother makes them and his, my brother and his wife make them. And uh, so they make sure that my cousin Kenny always gets some bear balls, which is really sweet of them. Okay, next question. Um, what smells like the holiday season to you? Oh my gosh, that is so easy. Yankee. Yankee Christmas cookie candle. Oh my gosh. Oh, love Yankee Christmas cookie candle. I have loved that for like, I don't know, so many years. Um, ever since I found out about it, I think it's been almost, gosh, 20 something years now. I love, love, love that scent. It always reminds me of Christmas. Um, and then I know Misty had mentioned the... Um, Pine cones, the smell of the cinnamon pine cones in the store. Oh my gosh, that that's another one. Every time I smell cinnamon pine cones, it's like I know the holidays are here whenever I smell them at any of the stores. Most most likely I always smell them at Walmart, but yeah. Um, what is your favorite paper pad? Oh, I don't have a favorite paper pad. Um, no, I don't. Um, I've been seeing all kinds of gorgeous paper pads recently. Um, Frankie Garcia has all these awesome paper pads that everybody's been hauling. Um, especially the one that um, has the really, really super cute Santa and it has a little kitchen scene. I don't even know what the name of it is. It's really super cute. Um, it has like mint colors in it. It's really super cute. And I just... I don't know. I'm a sucker for the old timey Santas that have that big, big jolly face. <laughs> I'm like a big chunky Santa person. Okay, guys, I don't like skinny Santas. I don't like skinny snowman. I hate skinny snowman. I'm sorry if you guys are snowman uh, lovers of skinny snowman. I hate skinny snowman. I hate skinny Santas. I love a big chunky uh, red nosed um Bright Cheek, Snowman, or Santa. Absolutely love it. I mean, anything that reminds me of old school Coca-Cola Santa, oh, I'm there. Love it, love it, love it. Um, and it's so funny because me and Misty were talking about it. And, and uh, yeah, we don't like Keto Snowman <laughs> or Keto uh, Santas. Okay, um, what is the cr one craft that you make each year? Okay, so I had mentioned this because it's kind of similar to your favorite holiday craft and why. Um, I've made wreaths uh, a lot. 
Um, I make wreaths for every holiday. Um, I have a gosh, I have so many different Christmas wreaths. Um, I even last year it was so funny because a, a couple years ago I made a wreath for one of my friends, and I the hardest thing about making wreaths is sending them um, because they're so big that they just don't have the yeah I can't find the the specific box for them, but um, and they do cost a lot of money to ship. So the, um, I ended up sending it for one of her milestone birthdays and, um, it was funny cause I had a, I told her I had a dumpster dive, which I did. Um, I saw that this one company was coming in and they were, um, unloading all kinds of new boxes, um, inventory. And so this particular, um, big trash uh, holder had all kinds of brand new boxes in it so I ended up pulling a box out and I ended up going home and cutting down the box so that it would fit that particular um, um, oh my gosh wreath so yeah and then last year I was in California three times so um, I it was just so much easier to make wreaths while I was there so I had another girlfriend who had a milestone birthday and I decided to make her a wreath for her birthday um, a Christmas wreath because she had mentioned about everybody having the exact same wreath on their front door and they all match that I wanted her to have something absolutely special and completely different so um, I ended up taking everything that I needed to, to make a wreath there and just ended up making a wreath there. And then two of my closest friends, um, Josephine and Diane, hey ladies, um, I ended up making them um, uh, Halloween wreaths while I was there. So yeah, so I would say um, the wreath is the one thing that I would make every year or, um, but I mean, you know, I haven't. I haven't made any in a, um, for myself recently, but for other people, yeah. And I have to learn how to make small wreaths. I want to make some like little mini wreaths. I thought mini wreaths would be really fun to make. So I'm going to try to master that because I think that would be really cute to make some mini ones. Um, I haven't, you know, did that one yet. So yeah. Okay, ladies, so that is my answers. Sorry if it took me so long, um, and I'm just kind of rambling on. I'm so sorry. Um, but um, tagging people, um, I'm kind of with Misty. I don't really, you know, I think I don't want anybody to feel left out. Um, so, you know, I don't, I don't know if I, there's, there is, though, two people that I absolutely want to know for a fact what their um what their um tis the season crafty um question answers would be and that would be nurse tara as one and i would love to hear tony craft purge um what their answers are to these questions but um also there's a lot of people that are in on my channel that i would absolutely love to hear your answers so um if you haven't been tagged yet, because I'm not sure who's been tagged, um, you're more than welcome to um, answer these questions and and um, on your channel say that Dina tagged you, okay? Um, and I just want to say thank you again for listening and, um, and stay tuned to my channel. I appreciate it. I appreciate all my subscribers, and I will see you guys on the next crafty video. Bye, guys.